There you see, making his way out, Seth Hickey. This will be a contest of the 155-pound division, no geek. From Houston, Texas, representing Team Took, this is Julia. Barbosa making his way out to the mat, representing Team Took. Yeah, both these athletes look ready. It looks like uh, Seth Hickey has like a little bit of a height advantage. Look how long his arms are. Absolutely. See, sometimes that plays for you, sometimes it plays against you. It's just how does the game play in? Immediately looking to scrap. Beth looks a little young here. I have that age advantage where he's gonna have, he's gonna be able to push the pace the whole time. Nice little sacrifice throw there by Barbosa. Pulls him on top with, with uh, double <laughs> overs. And I just saw Seth just look over at his coach with a big smile and gave a thumbs up that I'm good. Ooh, look how he cuts the angle on the guard. I like it, I like it. Barbosa being smart and, and trying to straighten him up. Yeah. This is the way you play guard, ladies and gentlemen, where you cut an angle. Yeah, people have this illusion of guard being hips under hips, but no, you want to get your hips out from under to create, like you said, those angles. Yeah, if I'm in someone's guard and they, they're constantly cutting angles, I get out of there. Yeah. <laughs> like, you know what, I'm just going to run away. Just, 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 just. Too, too slippery for you. Ooh, and look. Oh, look. That's Hickey from those on angles. The, on the possible triangle. Smart move by Barbosa, just standing right out of that. Looking for a leg is Barbosa. They're scrapping, folks. So he'll only be able to attack a straight ankle here. To see if he can isolate it. Hickey doesn't seem too worried. Yep, Hickey doing a good job controlling the, controlling the feet. <coughs> to spin out, spins out back into his guard. Yeah, yeah, the yeah, great great scrap so far. Really, that's the closest we've got to a submission so far, so points to Barbosa. Angle cut, looking for the arm bar. Smart Oof. move by Barbosa, keeps his arms locked together and straightens right out of that. If you guys notice, every time the threat happens, Barbosa puts his head to the sky. Essentially puts his hips in and gets his neck up and gets his posture. That makes the arm bars and triangles really hard to finish. And if we've seen in the previous matches, a lot of times the opponents stay broken down. Absolutely, that makes sense. Get, just get the heck out of there. Right, right. Man, great isolation by Hickey. I was always a fan if it was a desperation triangle attempt of scooting my hips all the way back just to shoot them underneath the guy's butt to posture up. Right, right. Just an explosion, you know, try to use my whole body. Look at this. Hickey is just getting lifted off the ground but still playing guard. Oh, good pass by Barbosa. Isolating an arm now. Got that arm isolated. Barbosa just needs to be patient. There's three minutes left. It's your head. Try to separate that arm from the body even more. Good job. Hickey fighting. Ooh. Slides over the mount. It's almost like he got so focused on getting that arm underneath that he forgot to, <laughs> forgot to keep the full mount. Yeah, when you bridge, your feet are stuck to the mat. So that, that's the perfect opportunity for an opponent to slice over. Hickey is just <laughs> He's smiling, just smiling and laughing. Saying, you don't have it. Nah, you don't got that. You don't got that either. It's, it's, a, it's a ballsy move when you're getting mounted. <laughs> <laughs> I've heard some guys, what's your take on this? I've heard some guys say they actually like uh, side control more because there's more submission opportunities there. Um, yeah, so that's... Generally in the in the lower level uh, because mount does take a little while to really master. Key lock attempt here by Barbosa trying to get that that uh, elbow submission there. 
But it's going to be hard to land on, on, on a young kid like uh, Seth Hickey here. Yeah. They, they, they got the most flexible. He's doing a good job keeping his elbows in, too. Just those joints are real limber. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, but at the, the, the higher level you go. Ooh, Less than two minutes to go, but we have a winner here. Great attempt by Barbosa, just sticking to Hickey. Yeah. And I like that he trapped the elbow, too, to kind of keep Hickey from getting a base underneath him to maybe come up into a turtle. Right, right. Yeah, no, the mount is definitely the superior uh, position to get the submission. It just takes a longer to master. So gotcha, I, gotcha. I mean, even as a purple belt, I would dismount and go to side control for sure because, yes, the, the, the submissions that you learn at the lower levels, like the Americana, the Kimura, the head and arm, the Dars, the Anaconda, there's so much more to do from side control. You will learn, you'll, you'll kind of like uh, want favorite dismounting. Uh, when, you, when you get to the mount, but as you get better and better and you really get um, really good at controlling the mount. Arm bar attempt here by Bar Barbosa. You'll be able to develop submissions from this mount position as we just saw from Barbosa. Absolutely. Because that, that arm bar attack from the mount takes really good hip dexterity, you know? Absolutely. That young man, that young man game. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. Great attempt by Barbosa. Ooh. Ooh. He gets Hickey the arm straight. Tap, 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 tap. He's tapping, he's tapping. That's it. Ooh. My goodness. Man, way to come back from Barbosa. Yeah, well, well, I guess that wasn't a comeback. Yeah. Great yeah. attempt. <laughs> Absolutely. job is sticking with it, man. Yeah, uh, Bar uh, Hickey was verbal tapping, but it's so yeah. loud in here, you know, it's hard for anyone yeah, here. to hear. Okay. We could see it on the camera here because it was facing us, but right. I think the ref was behind the